Welcome to this short service on the Feast of Candlemas, the end of our Christmas season, Christmas and Epiphany, the birth and revelation of Jesus Christ is brought together on the Feast of Candlemas, the presentation of Christ in the temple, where Simeon, who has waited to see the Messiah, takes Christ in his arms and says, I have seen the salvation. So on this pivotal point between Christmas and the beginning of Lent into Holy Week and Easter, we come to meet for worship, for prayer and praise and thanksgiving in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. We wait for your loving kindness, O Lord, in the midst of your temple. Open to us the gates of righteousness, that we may enter and give thanks to the Lord. God is the Lord who has shown us light. Let us offer in his dwelling our worship with great gladness. Our Saviour Jesus Christ said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall never walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Let us therefore bring our sins into his light and confess them in penitence and faith. Father Eternal, giver of light and grace, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour, in what we have thought, in what we have said and done, through ignorance, through weakness, 
through our own deliberate fault. We have wounded your love and marred your image in us. We are sorry and ashamed and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us out from darkness to walk as children of light. Amen. Gracious God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And the prayer for the feast of the presentation for Candlemas. Lord Jesus Christ, light of the nations and glory of Israel, make your home among us and present us pure and holy to your heavenly Father, your God and our God. Amen. Our readings today are not the Old Testament and New Testament that we might sometimes hear in church, but rather the psalm from the Old Testament that we often would not. That's read by Amanda Lenny for us today. And then Ethan Afosu is going to read us the gospel. Psalm 24 verses 1 to 10. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof the world and those who dwell therein, for he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord and who shall stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to what is false and does not swear deceitfully. He will receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him and who seek the face of the God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, and be lifted up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, and lift them up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verse 22 to 40. When the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male shall be designated as holy to the Lord. And they offered a sacrifice according to what is stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him 
in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and for glory to your people Israel. And the child's father and mother were amazed at what had been said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to his mother Mary, This child is destined for falling and the rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be opposed, so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, having lived with her husband for seven years after her marriage, then as a widow, to the age of 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped there with fasting and prayer night and day. At that moment she came, and began to praise God, to speak about the child to all who were looking for the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had finished everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favour of God was upon him. So let us, as we have the faith of Simeon and Anna in Jesus Christ, let us too declare our faith in God. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, who died for us and who rose again. We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God, the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and who makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And our prayers for this evening, led by Jane Grey. 
Let us pray to the Father through Christ, who is our light and life. Father, your Christ is acclaimed as the glory of Israel. Look in mercy on your church, sharing his light. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, your Christ in his temple brings judgment on the world. Look in mercy on the nations who long for his justice. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, your Christ is the one in whom faithful servants find their peace. Look in mercy on the departed, that they may see your salvation. Holy God, hear our prayer. Father, your Christ is revealed as the one destined to be rejected. Look in mercy on us who now turn towards his passion. Holy God, hear our prayer. Lord God, you kept faith with Simeon and Anna and showed them the infant king. Give us grace to put all our trust in your promises and the patience to wait for their fulfilment. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the tender mercy of our God, the day spring from on high has broken upon us to give light to those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right and good always and everywhere to give you thanks and praise through Jesus Christ, who is one with you from all eternity. For on this day he appeared in the temple in the substance of our flesh, to come near to us in judgment. He searches the hearts of all your people and brings to light the image of your splendour. Your servant Simeon acclaimed him as the light to lighten the nations, while Anna spoke of him to all who looked for your redemption. 
destined for the falling and rising of many, he was lifted high upon the cross, and a sword of sorrow pierced his mother's heart, when by his sacrifice he made our peace with you. And now we rejoice and glorify your name, that we too have seen your salvation, and join with the angels and archangels in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. So come to Jesus, not because you must, but because you may. Come to Jesus not because you have all faith, but because you have some and would like to grow into it. Come to Jesus because he loves you and wants to give you everything. Believing in the promises of God, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Together we pray. Lord, you fulfil the hope of Simeon and Anna, who live to welcome the Messiah. Prepare us to meet Christ Jesus when he comes to bring us to eternal life, for he is alive and reigns now and for ever. Amen. Christ, whose glory fills the skies, fill you with radiance and scatter the darkness before your path. Amen. May Christ, the Son of Righteousness, gladden your eyes and warm your heart. Amen. Christ, the day spring from on high, draw near to guide your feet into the way of peace. Amen. So as we leave Christmas as a season behind and turn our faces towards Lent, may the blessing of God Father, Son and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Our final hymn this evening is the one written by Ali Barrett for Candlemas. Dear Father God, we gather here in this great house of prayer, or not in the house for this year, We come just as we are to you, as one who knows us through and through and keeps us in your care, in love beyond compare. Father God, we give you our thanks for bringing our Saviour to us in Christmas, to revealing, for revealing him to us in Epiphany and for giving us the hope that as we follow him through Lent, we will understand how much he gave for us to know how much of our lives we need to give back to you. We move now into ordinary times, so we do so singing Ali's hymn.
as young and old the voices raise and joyfully